Christmas dreams. The, the city is covered with Christmas decorations. And people are looking for presents for their loved ones. Yes, look, these generic NPC characters and, and the two obvious and main characters in the crowd. You can tell because they have oh weird colored hair. That gentleman, that lady, that old man. <laughs> Why do they have to walk that fast? Why are they drawn with not as much detail? In the crowd, they feel something important is missing. The streets look so beautiful. This is the most cheerful time of the year. <coughs> but it seems like nobody is paying any attention to something important. Ah, uh, the Christmas spare wire. Down the street, they find themselves in the middle of Twin Seed City. Facing the mammoth Twin Seeds Tower. It is decorated beautifully, and the tower appears as one huge Christmas tree. However, they realize what is missing from the Christmas spirit. The one thing nobody seems to notice. The star on top? There is no shiny star atop the gigantic Christmas tree. <laughs> Without it, the tree is incomplete. We always have an angel. I didn't get the star thing until way later in life, honestly. Like, I get it now, but at the time, it was always an angel on top of the tree, not the star. Yes? Yeah, it's, it's Christmas! Merry Christmas! <laughs> Happy non-denominational winter solstice holiday, everybody! I, uh, it was promised. Long has it been promised. But we're gonna go ahead and play Christmas Dreams. It's called Christmas Dreams! Isn't that the cutest thing? <laughs> it's Christmas night! Here in 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 the land of Sega, Sega Land. There was actually like a handful of Christmas games out there if you wanted to do like a Christmas letter thing. Yeah, look at this is that mashup. Anyway, there's actually a handful of Christmas games out there if you wanted to do Christmas games. Uh, if you, like, for example, I was thinking it would be kind of funny to do Bayonetta 2 as a Christmas game. Because, hey, that game does take place during Christmas. So if you wanted, that's totally a viable one. I am looking for, I don't know if it's in this stage, actually. It might be in another stage. But I know Sonic and Tails are somewhere in one of these stages of like a fun little Easter egg. I'll look for them later. But yes, I, uh, uh... <coughs> there's a couple, like, like, you know how people say, like, ah, oh, Die Hard's a Christmas movie. There's a couple of fun little technically takes place during Christmas games you could pick. But I did allude to the existence of Christmas Nights back when I did Nights oh so long ago. So I figured what better opportunity than to do Christmas Nights for uh, the Christmas video. It's called Christmas, like that's the part that's adorable to me. It's called Christmas Night. It's Christmas Night, everybody. Maybe I should put this up on Christmas Eve or something because it's Christmas Night, anyway. Like, you never know. I'm recording this in fucking November, so who knows what I'm gonna do. Uh, when the time actually comes around to upload it. But I always love the idea of a Christmas game. I feel like there's actually not enough of them. There's a good handful of games out there you could do, but I feel like there should be more. I mean, like, 
Christmas is such a... Like, there's so many Christmas movies, right? But it seems like there's kind of a... a sur like, what's the opposite of a surplus? Like, a surplus is you have way too many. There's a surplus of Christmas movies. But it feels like there's not nearly enough Christmas games. Even this, you could argue, is just a Christmas... Like, skin for a game that already existed. And I don't, like... Fucking search me. I have no idea how they did this game back in the day. I think this was a, a demo, actually. Remember how back in the day they would have demo discs? I believe that's what it was. I believe, like, you could get, like, a disc in, like, a magazine or something, and it'd be like, here's Christmas Nights, plug that into your Sega Saturn. Oh, what's that? No one in their... No one fucking owns a Sega Saturn. No one's getting the Sega Saturn because that shit's fucking crazy expensive. <laughs> but yeah, I remember, like, just like Nights itself, uh, Christmas Nights was one of those things that was sort of like... Oh, remember that thing? No one's ever fucking played because no one owned a Saturn. So it's pretty cool that they included it in that in that HD re-release of Nights that I've already talked about because I already did a video of. And uh, like I wanted to find them, but I have no idea where they are. I'd actually have to look up what stage they're in and where specifically they are in the level. But Sonic and Tails are in here somewhere as like a little easter egg chilling out under a tree or something. What the hell hit me? You bitch. Get the Christmas spirit, you motherfucker. Fuck you. So I figured, if anything, this would make a pretty good Christmas video to do. Because that's always such a that's always such a fun idea to do that. Like a game or a movie commemorating the holiday spirit. I felt like, especially nowadays, people are kind of cynical about that kind of thing. I mean, people are cynical about a lot of stuff in general, for reasons I don't understand. But the idea of, like... You know, the joke of, like, non-denominational winter solstice holiday. The idea of, like, celebrating the holiday. I mean, like, I've always been of the opinion, like, in my presence now, but, I don't know. Why you gotta be cynical about Christmas? I want my presents now, but I like the idea of, a uh, of, a uh, you know, a uh, uh, commemorative event to celebrate some idea. This is actually a pretty good mashup of a bunch of different Christmas songs. I mean, hey, if you're gonna have anyone do, like, Christmas music, have it be Sonic Team, because clearly they know what the fuck they're doing when it comes to music. So what better choice than... And look, we're collecting these, uh, shiny orbs. Hey, you, you motherfucker. How dare you? We're collecting these shiny orbs and putting them on the tree as ornaments. Isn't that adorable? I believe this actually does canonically, like, this is canon. The, uh, the Christmas night. Again, Christmas Queen. This is canonical to, like, the story of the base game, too. Because Elliot and the girl, uh, Claire, know each other. And they're walking around the city together, and they, like, after the events of the game, they end up meeting. But they didn't know each other beforehand. So that's kind of funny, like, it's a sequel, story-wise, at the same time, and these are a whole bunch of new art assets. Like, they actually went all out and did a whole bunch of new music, and art assets for the level, and put knights in a, in a fun new little costume, which is great. I still kind of prefer his, like, his real, like, the original outfit, but knights looks really cute in the Santa, in the Santa outfit. Yeah, I like the idea, like, like, I've always been like, you know, whatever. We don't need the government to tell us when to give presents to each other. Just give me my presents now. Give me my presents now! I ain't waiting. Oh, shit. I'm gonna run out of time. There we go. Give me my presents now, but... 
December 25th rolling around being like, yeah, gift giving and the Christmas spirit and all that. That's always like, that's fun. Don't be a jerk. <laughs> oh, Christmas themed boss fight. Although those stories of like, and no one was taking time to appreciate the Christmas spirit. All of the hustle and bustle. They were all running around the city getting their last minute Christmas shopping done. It's like, eh. Like, I've never really been a fan of those kind of stories, though, where it's like, oh, you just gotta stop and smell the roses. Bitch, I got places to be. Now, hey, you know what makes a Merry Christmas? Me finishing all the fucking holiday shopping so everyone gets what they want this year. You know? Like, I get it, and you're not wrong, but... <laughs> People want their presents, you know? Jesus ain't real, so I gotta get them their presents. <laughs> so, or, or like the ca uh, Cars is another example of that, the Pixar movie Cars, where they're like, oh, the highways, you know, they're not going on a road trip and taking in the sights. It's about the journey, not the destination. Oh, it's like, dude, I got places to be. I got places to be, dog. Like, I get it, but also shut up, right? You're not wrong, but Joey wants his Switch this year, right? So you can, you can, you know, we can do both. How about that? How about a little bit of both? How about a little bit of, I can, I can hustle and bustle and get all the last minute shopping done. And we can, you know, go see the big Christmas tree and uh, go ice skating. And, you know, have some hot cocoa and just enjoy the spirit of the season or whatever. I'm going to try and find Sonic and Tails. I don't know where they are. I'm actually going to have to look that up. I know they're in here somewhere. I was thinking, like, like would, I also, would it also be a good idea to get the ending of this game? in this video too because I never like managed to finish it during that video. But it's actually like a shockingly long ending, so nah. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and I don't wanna have to like pause and look up where Sonic and Tails are. But I'm pretty sure they're somewhere, right? I don't know where, but it's certainly somewhere. And I actually have way more freedom of mobility to actually walk around and look for stuff. As not night. Oop. So yeah, I just thought this would be a good pick for a little holiday video where you can just kind of take it chill. You know, kind of just chillax, take it low-key and enjoy it. Enjoy the spirit of the holidays, of the Christmas. Of the pagan, uh, like, annexation. <laughs> uh, all the, all the little not chows, all the proto chows are dressed up in San outfits. It's so cute. Although, I like how she's got, like, a long sleeve shirt, but also, like, thigh-high fucking skirt. Like, you're still gonna be cold, bitch. Like, your arms are covered, but your legs are gonna be fucking chilly. I'm just saying. Maybe you should, uh, maybe you should wear some goddamn pants. I mean, I'm pretty sure Elliot was wearing boy shorts, too. So they're both chilly, but still. I figure there's probably going to be a little ending cutscene if we do both of them. I mean, the achievement already popped for doing this level, but I'm sure there's going to be a little conclusionatory cutscene for getting the star somehow. Like, they're just walking around the city doing some last minute Christmas shopping and judging people. Judging their fellow man for not enjoying the holiday the way they think they should be. And then all of a sudden, like, they just fell into a narcoleptic coma. 
and started running around with knights defeating Christmas dreams. Where the fuck are they? Yeah. Where are they? Not Chow. Tell me where Sonic is. Okay, I don't know if they either took it out of this version, or if my brain completely made it up and that's actually not true, and I'm thinking of something else completely. But, nah, I can't find anywhere where it's like, here's how to fucking find Sonic in this re-release. Like, maybe it was only in the Saturn version, for all I know. But, regardless, I'll, I'll put in some gifts or something of where I first found like the little reference, the little easter egg of Sonic being in Christmas night somewhere, if I can find it again. But regardless... See, it's while you're out enjoying your presents and Christmas cheer and spending time with your family. Here's a little, here's a little, here's a little Foxy video of the holiday season to enjoy. There's a nice chill little video of yay, nice. I, it would be cool if games did this more often, like nowadays. Ugh, Jesus. Oh, I hatched the chow. The not chow. That's what they are. They're just fucking chow. Oh, I love doing the switch. I wish games would do this more often, do like, especially now in the era of DLC. I feel like that would be way easier to do now than ever before. But back in the days of like shareware, you had games doing like Christmas levels all the time. Like I remember like there was a Duke Nukem Christmas level or something like that. But you'd think now, like now that digital distribution has completely eliminated the barriers. You'd think that would be way more common nowadays. Like, the closest you'll ever get now is, like, Christmas costume DLC. Like, uh, Persona 5 actually had some pretty choice Christmas costume DLC, which is, uh, which is, is cute. That's always nice, too. But you'd think, like, I mean, uh, Final Fantasy XV had a whole little downloadable, fun, uh, like, event, like, with voice acting and everything, to, to, as a crossover with Assassin's Creed. So I'm just saying, like, if you can do an Assassin's Creed crossover in the year of our Lord 2017, I feel like you can go ahead and do Christmas DLC in this day and age. That would be fun. That would be a lot of fun. How cool would it be if Sonic Forces did Christmas DLC? That would be great. I mean, it would have to be next year, I guess. Because, never mind. Because, like, kind of already, like, like, it came out way too close for that to be in the cards. But still, I feel like Christmas DLC is a thing that's way more viable than it has ever been. And it'd be cool to, like, have that come back as a thing. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm digging this mashup. I'm digging these mashup of Christmas songs. But if you really want a great original Christmas album... I'm gonna have to shill and send you over to my boy Nick Tansky over at Bandcamp.com. I'll link to it in the description. He just released his sixth Christmas album this year, and it's pretty, pretty fucking kick-ass. So if you're a fan of Christmas music but are fucking sick of like really terrible pop star covers. Or just listening to the same, to the same freaking stock, uh, cut, like, version of that song from, like, the 1920s or something. If you want some kick-ass, 
modern new covers of classic Christmas songs, I'm going to kick you on over to Nick Tansky at Bandcamp.com. His new album, Candy Cake. Give it a listen if you're in the mood for some Christmas music this year. And next year, there's like five Christmas albums in addition to Candy Cane. So, you know, you're covered. You're covered for five years in a row. Five Christmases. Oh, I didn't know you could do that with this boss. I thought you had to do... I thought you had to... Ah, shit. I'm doing very badly this time for some reason. My lack of ability to find out if Sonic is in this has demoralized me. I remember, uh, I think, like, the Dreamcast version of, come on, dang, of Sonic Adventure had some Christmas DLC also that no longer exists because it was Dreamcast only and was only on the Dreamcast servers. But you can probably find screenshots of that. There's some, like, holiday DLC for Dreamcast stuff. I remember some games would do that. Like, uh, Simpsons Hit and Run had a little, like, like, title screen easter egg if you played it on December 25th. Yeah, there's our star. So we go ahead and hit our... Got our star. Booyah. Resolution. Hooray. Christmas was saved. Thanks to Sega. With the help of Knights... Elliot and Clarus found look at look at Knights' face in seven colors but the entire story uh, you kids in Japan ain't even Christian you don't know what Christmas is so what was the Japanese star? kids they don't talk about the dream they saw but there is one thing both of them know something special will happen after they embark on an adventure with Knights. Aw, shit. Look at that comedy. <laughs> they start feeling cheerful again. Oh, so the level was them having a coma dream after slipping on ice now and passing the fuck out. Like the light of a small candle starts filling the city once again. <laughs> These children cleaner. slipped and got a concussion. Ha 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 ha. That's what the Christmas spirit's all about. Give a star oh. of happiness to the heart of these brave children. Give a star of happiness to the heart of everyone. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. From our family to yours. I am that sap who will still kind of get teary-eyed when I hear Silent Night. That song still fucking hits me. Anyway, yep. Merry Christmas. Only this winter. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful holidays. Whether I'm putting this up on Christmas Eve or Christmas, I don't know. It's November when I'm recording this. So I can just do whatever the fuck I want. Yeah, when I beat the game the first time, that one got me. That was a, that that one hit me right in the feels. In a dream I could see you are not far away. Any time, any place, I can see your face. You're that special one that I've been waiting for. And I hope you're looking for someone like me in my dreams. I can hear you calling me in the night. Everything is so sweet in your eyes. I feel there's so much inside, oh yeah. In the night, dream delight, 
I want to see you standing there in the night. June, delight. I found someone who really cares. There's nowhere I'd rather be but here with you. The stars above light the way only for you and I. I'm so glad I found the one I've been looking for. And got Stevie Wonder to do a, a cover of the theme song. Yay! <laughs> this game has so many good wallpapers, right? If you if you need a wallpaper for a uh, for uh, your desktop, there's actually a couple of good ones in this game. Anyway, I believe yeah, I got something here for this. Oh, I think this is just sound test. Is it? What is this? Yes. I don't know what I'm doing. I do not know. Anyway. And presents. Yeah, see what I'm talking about? These are some good wallpapers. Once again, Knights and character design just knocked it. Oh no, dude! Christmas present idea right here. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Look at these three dead franchises in Sonic. <laughs> it would be funny if one of these was just straight up a chow. Gotta have a chow in there. A little chow in a Santa hat, that'd be cute. I got my little sister a chow plushie for a present, so that is just what's on my mind right now. Oh wait, what was that? Oh, okay. This is just the, uh... <laughs> that was actually good, like, I, I, I really like the art style they use. 
That again. Look at Knights' face like, ah, uh, you Japanese children with your bastardized winter solstice holiday. You don't even know who Jesus is. But that's fine. I'll still help you out in your dreams. Oh, punk ass Japanese children. You got. You Japanese kids are so stupid. You think Christmas is a romantic holiday. I don't even know what you do on Valentine's. You got your holiday swap there. Say, little Japanese kids. Little islanders. Anyway, that's your. Uh, seasonal dose of, uh, racism. <laughs> anyway, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Get out of my house. Oh, shit! I don't know about this. <laughs>